<laughs> Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. Alright, so we last left off. We had just recruited the. Oops. When we last left off, we had just recruited the Kilguins for our efforts against Aisha, the Ice Elf Queen. And now, we move on to Bear Facts. You did well with the Kilguins, far better than I could have hoped, and you returned just in time. I received a message from a shaman from the Ursai Savages. Actually, it was more of a dream. I was told to send you to the Ice Islands, to the south, at a very specific time and date. Today. Now. I've had done one of the Drake's- er, I've had one of the Drake's supply rafts prepared for you. You need to leave right now. Once you arrive, the shaman will tell you what you need to do to convince the bears to join us. Good luck, rogue. He looks like a really beefy panther. I am Grohl Black Claw, shaman of the Ursice Savages. I have seen visions of the future, and I know the queen of the Ice Elves and her dragon army will destroy all in their path. I have tried to convince our leader, Huntmaster Forlob, <laughs> oh man, of the danger, but my people distrust magic. You're a shaman. Joining the humans of Drakesvard may be our only hope, but tradition says that you must prevent a or present, not prevent, a great gift to be heard. Please, you must find this gift and convince my people to join you. It is our custom to present a gift to the Huntmaster before asking for a favor. My people would be opposed to joining the humans, but they would follow the Huntmaster. There is only one gift that would be <laughs> truly great enough. Or that we, sorry, let me try that again. I was like in the middle of. I felt like I was about to burp, so I was like holding that back, and then it was a false alarm. There is only one gift that would be great enough to be truly irresistible to my people: a picnic basket. A picnic basket. Yes, we're bears. We cannot resist the siren call of a picnic basket. And I know where you can get one. That's the reason I asked Galanoth to send you here on this very day. A group of local frost goblins is having a picnic. <laughs> you will find them on one of the neighboring ice islands, which is connected by this one to this one by ice bridges. Once you have the gift, continue down the path and it will lead you directly to my village. The path is dangerous, but I can see your power. Help us, you are our only hope. Alright. Thanks, man. I was expecting that to hit harder. Mmm. Oh, he didn't. It didn't matter. Ow, ow! He got a double hit? Was he doing that before? I thought he was only hitting me once before. So I don't know if I'll finish the quest chain today, or if I'll end up maybe leaving one or two quests to go. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see though. Oh, a flan. Or snowball. Sorry, I call them flans because of Final Fantasy X. Why does that have so much HP? Usually those things aren't packing, like, that much.
Oh, another ice bridge. I wonder how many exactly I have to cross. Are we gonna have to recruit the frost goblins too? Because we may. I uh... don't oh, know. He didn't say that. We needed. We needed the kilgoyans, <coughs> the Ursai savages. I feel like calling them savages is a bit mean when they can clearly communicate and all that. But whatever. Oh, there's the picnic or picnic. Picnic Lord. Whoops! I meant to use my smoke screen. This is why I'm at it now. Let's go crazy. Yeah, get him. Good one. Ow! Goof! So it only hits me for two damage or two different attacks sometimes. Frost Goblin hitting me with, like, the Wrath of Zeus over here. Or, uh, oh, and I'm, like, stuck in defense pose. Just 132 damage from one thing. Oh my god. Was I, I, I feel, what was I saying before we got to the fight? I was in the middle of trying to, I don't remember, I'm sorry. You're, you're telling me that the picnic, this wasn't it? It was a false alarm? It's not good. I thought I was towards the end, otherwise I would have been a little less, uh... Oh well. Let's keep going. Mmm. Nice. Durgan magic. But I'm trying to give you gifts. Don't get in the way. Accept my gracious guest beat. It's, I, what's the opposite of hospitality? Like, if you're being... If you're being like a good guest rather than host, I don't know what the word for that is. Oh, there we go. It's this emperor. Hi, you must be the hunt master. I come bearing gifts. Yes. <laughs> hunt master for all. Humans are so strange, but I cannot ignore tradition or the gift of a picnic basket. What would you ask of me? I know you carry a lot of I know that you carry a lot of weight with your people. I would ask that on behalf of my people that you join us in the coming battle against Aisha, the Ice Elf Queen. Bah 
<laughs> Oops. That came out way too dramatic. I did like a whole voice for that. <laughs> this has black claws stink all over it. I have told the shaman that I do not trust his dreams. Oh, alright. I'll just take this tasty picnic basket and be on my way. Wait, I, uh, I would never refuse people who come to us for help. We will assist you, you have my word. Now leave the picnic basket and get out of here. <laughs> uh, Claw of Wisdom? That's a staff? It shows a gift. No, we'll keep it. We can sell it at the very least. Oh, just straight up removed Galanoth from my party. Oh, let's uh, stroll on over here real quick. We'll sell this. What's it look like, though? Oh, that's kind of cool. Like a floating stone. That's neat. Oh my god, I have so much gold. 17,000. I remember that it used to be like harder to get a lot of money. Or maybe I just felt that way when I was actually looking to buy something. Anyway, uh... Yeah, we're in by Galanoth. More quests. One, two... How long did that take? Oh, it only took 12 minutes. Okay, so if those, if those go by just as fast, then I might be able to finish the whole thing. Great work. Now the Kilgwin... I don't know what that's supposed to... I don't know what that... Kilgwills? Kilgwins is what it should have said. And the Ursai savages are with us. All that remain are the Tuskers. They are a race of ruddock nomad... Or rugged... <laughs> I, I smashed the two words together, I'm sorry. Nomadic uh, walruses? Walri. Wal... <laughs> Walr... Oh, wow, I can't even... <laughs> It's walruses, Galanoth. You were right the first time. I couldn't even do that last word. Anyway, they are very secretive. They are untrusting out. They are untrusting of outsiders. So this will not be easy. If you can convince them to join us, then we will have the support that we need. No matter how how this turns out, I'm impressed with your work so far. I could never have done what you have accomplished. Good luck. You must be Hunter. Thanks for coming. Gajoob. Who are you? And did you just think at me? My name is Gajoob. I am a, a lore keeper for my people, the Tuskers. And yes, we speak telepathically. We can speak your language out, out loud, but due to our large tusk, people make fun of the way we talk. Oh, that's sad. It's just easier for us to learn to live in. <laughs> I like how that's an easier solution than just getting over the weird way that they talk. That makes sense. Are the Tuskers willing to join the alliance? Or against I? Are the Tuskers willing to join us against Aisha and her dragon army? That is up to you. We are a peaceful race. We just want to be left alone. We only learn to fight and wear armor to defend our privacy. But as Lore Keeper, I know my people's tales. We have had to join with others to protect our way of life before. I think it is time again. You might be able to convince our leader to join with you in order to defend our privacy. Great, where do I find him? It's not quite that simple. We are nomads, roaming these frozen waters and making our secret homes in hollow caves and icebergs. Or within the icebergs. We change our location every day to help ensure our privacy, and the entrances to the ice caves are all underwater. Once we abandon a cave, we let the entrance freeze over, so you will see the right one when you see it. Or so you will know the right one when you see it. It will be the only one you can enter. But you might just find some of our abandoned camps first, so just keep looking. A little while ago, someone dumped a bunch of water-breathing potions in the ocean so you can breathe the seawater. I wonder if I should tell Gajub that the water-breathing potions were my fault. That was your fault? Oh yeah, he's just... 
I, uh, f I forget where, where did that angle come from? I don't remember. Hey, no fair, reading minds. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter anyway. You can breathe water, but it's very, very cold. You will begin freezing to death as soon as you enter the water. The cold will slowly drain you of all your life. So move fast and find our camp. My people are not expecting you, and we do not like outsiders. They will attack you. Be ready. Ah, wear something with ice resistance. I don't have anything with ice resistance. This sucks, though. I'm not a fan of being put on, like, a ticking timer of uh, HP death. I hope this isn't too long. Oh, why would I possibly think that kicking them in the shins would be a good idea? Seems like if I can be economic about how many times I initiate movement. Like, I think the first step that you take is when you take damage. And it won't, uh... And it didn't look like I took any more damage and... Oh, ow, ow! It didn't look like I took any more damage until after that. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna do that. Since... Did they resist the mobility or did I just get unlucky? Oh yeah, they have a 50% resistance, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna smoke screen for the rest of this quest. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got like a tickle in my throat. No, I'm happy that they they could have been real jerks and like every move you take also just decrease your HP as far as like in battle, but they didn't do that and I appreciate them for that. Oh, I guess it doesn't work the way I may have thought it does. Uh, that looks like it would be the way to go, but I feel like there might be a, like, health pad over here, possibly. So I'm going to check this way. Here's to hoping, right? Mm. He's afflicted with painful shins, not affected by painful shins. I wish they would choose one and stick with it. 